Okay, so before we talk about the Skyline pant, I'm gonna say something, okay? And I think a lot of guys are totally clear on this, but many of us have forgotten it and maybe just need to hear someone say it out loud. Guys, unless you're robbing a bank today, it is not your job to look forgettable. It's not. None of us grew up thinking, okay, boy, I really wanna look like an extra in a movie everywhere I go. And yet, for too many of us, that pant we end up grabbing at 6.30 in the morning. You know the one, the department store khakis, the Levi's, right, remember those? They're sabotaging you. They're making you look forgettable like an extra in a movie, and you're not. This is the movie about your life and you are not an extra. It sounds obvious, but I think we just forget. You're the fucking star of it. So today I'm gonna show you the everyday pant that the star of your movie wears. It's loaded with things that make it look great, that are gonna make you look great, but one of them rises above them all. What is that one thing? All right, let's take a look. Okay, cool. So before we start, let's look at where this fits in your closet. At y Chroma, we're, we're, we're not really about individual random clothes. This is about a system, right? So where does this fit in your wardrobe system? Right here, at the first step of your wardrobe. We always dress from the feet up. Once you know what look you're going for and you pick the shoe, then you work your way up. Pants are the first stop along the way. This one just works great with all kinds of looks. We're gonna talk about how this pant is built and I've got some very cool tricks up my sleeve for you on that. But the number one thing that makes it sexy is the fabric, right? It's super premium cotton with just a touch of elastin in it to keep it comfy. But that thing you're seeing that gives it its X factor is satin. Before you guys freak out like Jesus, Max wants me to wear satin panties or something. Let's just get a handle on what satin is. A quick primer, actually pretty cool stuff. Contrary to what you may have heard, satin is not really a fabric. Rather, it's a way of weaving fabric. You've probably heard of plain weave or, or twill, that's a common term, you've probably heard it. Satin weave is that third way of weaving fabric. A few quick graphics from Wikipedia do a, a pretty good job of, of showing what I mean. It just has fewer threads crossing each other, right? What does that mean? It means less light diffusing on all of those crossing points. That combined with great quality thread and a, a dyeing process creates this rich, luminous satin finish. It's not shiny like gangster pants or something like that, but it just glows a bit. Take a look at it here on the guys. It just, like uh, the guys who model for Y Chroma are friends of mine, great guys from here in Lisbon. They do a lot more than model. They're entrepreneurs and business guys. They have their own way of wearing these clothes, but look at how it looks on them. Just wow. What you realize is that typical cotton chinos, the pants you used to wear, absorb light. But in satinized cotton, even this kind of gold khaki here reflects light back, right? You walk in the room and something about you just looks a little radiant. The physics are this or that, whatever light there is in the room just kind of glows off of you. In the case of these pants that I have in front of me here, you, you glow gold a little bit, right? That's why I prefer you to wear something like this with a gold tone instead of just khakis. Once you know what you're looking at, it's evident. The people you work with or whatever, they won't know why. They'll just know that you look better than Irving Schmeckelman from Radiology or whoever happens to walk in the room right after you. He's wearing something that looks kind of like those pants, you know, those khakis or whatever, and you are too. But for some reason, you look healthy and sexy and vaguely French, and he doesn't. That's the satin at work. Beyond the fabric, this is just a great grown-up kind of skate pant. I just love the skate cut on this. I want your ass to look great and your silhouette to cut this nice V shape here. It's really built to do that. The construction is my usual top flight, made in Europe quality. If you own anything from y Chroma, you know that I don't cut corners ever. You're paying good money, I expect it to last you for years, right? As I always say, the pant is really only as good as the waistband. This is my typical design here. If your belt is the only thing holding up your pants, 
That's usually a sign you have shitty pants or that they don't fit or both. A great pant feels like kind of like a tool belt or a gun belt or something, right? It's just kind of connected to you there. We do that by creating a nice firm band here. It's a little wider, isn't it? Maybe a, a centimeter wider than you're used to seeing. And it's just the perfect width. It's got several layers stitched into it, so it's firmer and won't do that horrible curling over thing. And the back has this great elastic band in it, right? It's high quality stuff, stretches just the right amount when you button, maybe a couple of centimeters or so, right around an inch, applying around two and a half kilograms of hug to you here. Actually measure this, right? We measure this on all the pants. Look at this, it is just exactly what you wanna see. Even if uh, you're not built like Ryan Gosling, you can probably wear this without a belt, which is a hell of a cool look. I've got a couple pictures here for you to check out of a couple of the guys wearing it. Look at how clean that look is, right? It just looks great. And unlike you know every other pant, it's not gonna fall off you or be a disaster there. It really looks great. Everything is stitched to perfection. Seams, check out the pockets. No grandpa buttons here, right? to clutter the look up nice and clean. A great broad high line here to give your ass a visual lift. The pockets come stitched shut. I try to avoid putting shit in my back pockets because it makes my ass look saggy and I don't need that. But you can open them if you want, if that works for you. It's actually kind of cool to see how a super premium pant is made. This is what you expect to see in a high-end garment, whether it's skate or couture. No shortcuts. Even premium shirting material for the pockets and lining. Seams are finished all the way down for comfort and durability. This pant really does just about everything for you. If you're going for the successful skater look, which if you're plus or minus my generation, Generation X is a terrific and totally cool look, totally age appropriate look for you. Pairs great with a sharp pair of sneakers or runners. Let's get a look at it here. Yeah, we got a lot of this. You can see the guys all look just amazing in this look. Look at the pants, look at that glow and the way they look with sneakers. Snap up those cuffs. They're built with this three millimeter over stitch here. Pop into crop position and they look tailored. That makes you look light, look athletic, look light on your feet. For most of us, most of the time, slouchy pants make you look slouchy and tired. So let's, let's be very careful about that, right? When we were 18, we could kind of get away with that and be edgy, but today you gotta be careful. It can look like shit. There are some times, like in this case here, here's a photo of Hui and he's wearing this a little more slouchy, but for him it works and it could work for you to a little more oversized look there. But by and large, when you see us, you know, guys wearing the Y chroma look, you're gonna see a nice healthy little strip of skin right between the top of the shoe and that pant. If you're dressing it up with a touch of rock, it works great with a cool shoe. If you are going that route, absolutely take, take care with those shoes, okay? I don't want you walking out the door in your funeral and bar mitzvah shoes like in that situation. So let's do it like this. Here you can see Francisco with a pair of distressed uh, Officine Creative shoes. Here, uh, here's another one with some cool loafers. Look at how great that looks, right? Think of how great you would rock that look. You're gonna look great with that. I love it. Even works with polished boots. Look at that. Look at how cool he looks here. Tony just rocks this. He's got a Daytona jacket. It's a kind of a tough look, isn't it? With those boots, kind of punk, kind of tough. Really versatile pant, all day comfortable, and you'll just somehow look better than the competition. That means I'm doing my job, right? On colors, uh, you guys know how I feel about this, right? These are shades. The Y color, uh, the Y chroma color palette is great and pretty much foolproof in terms of combinations. I add a touch of black to all the colors to macho them up a bit. That's why they look masculine. I think uh, you should have anywhere from two to six of these in the closet, right? That sounds like a lot, but they're a core pant. They're not the only pant, core pant to have for you, right? But, but they really do often just serve as that great go-to pant. Think about the colors, right? I want you to grab one or two from this core color group here, right? That's kind of our core color group, but don't flinch from grabbing a color with more edge from these groups, right? Take a look at these examples. Just look at it. Look at how you pop. 
No matter what your complexion, what your skin tone, you're gonna look great with these colors. Remember, you can always stabilize an edge color pant with a dark basic shirt if that feels right. If you still, right, if you still feel like that maybe a pink pant is a little too feminine of a look, put a dark shirt on with it and all of a sudden, you'll look like a total badass. That's what I want for you. We all need these workhorse items in our wardrobe. But once you make the decision to be that cooler version of you, consistency is really important. Throw those old dad pants, the old dockers you've had for 100 years, throw them in the donation bin, get yourself some upgraded pants. The Skyline is a great place to start.